Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the F150 LEDs Spartan Series LED uh, lights here for reverse lights on a 2015 Ford F150 Series truck. They're going to give you fantastic uh, light output, a full even spread. It's going to make backing up much easier at night. Plus, it's going to make you and others around you safer as well. The lights automatically activate when the truck goes into reverse, meaning you don't have to fumble for any switches or anything like that. The light is just there when you need it. So our new Spartan Series LED lights are designed for compact size but powerful and even light output. They're completely waterproof with a blackout die cast housing and blacked out PCB board, hardware, and reflector caps. The Spartan Series lights are equipped with Cree 5 watt XTE LEDs that are capable of a max lumen output of 629 lumens per LED. That's extremely bright and an extremely efficient chip. Each uh, unit here consists of six primary uh, facing Cree chips and three side facing Cree chips on each side, which gives you an overall 12 Cree XD LEDs per unit here. So not only are these things gonna be extremely bright, but they're gonna give you that full even spread output that's gonna really make these even more effective. This makes them ideal for reverse lights, fog lights, and any other uh, type of time that you're needing that full uh, light coverage. The Spartan's custom harness has dual IP68 heavy duty weatherproof connectors, along with a heat and tear resistant braid, a built-in relay, and an inline fuse. This custom harness makes installing the lights as easy as mounting them up and connecting the power. So let's go ahead and get started with the install and show you how easy installing the F-150 LED Spartan Series uh, reverse lights on a 2015 F-150 is. The first thing that we need to do is install the custom Spartan mounting bracket uh, tiered to the bumper of the truck. So find this oval cutout and uh, just using the included hardware, we're going to run our bolt through that oval opening and then we're going to take our a uh, large washer and nut and tighten it to the frame. In order to get our Spartan ready to mount up under the bumper, we need to attach its uh, upper attachment arm here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take one of our larger bolts and thread it here to the, uh, through the top of the bracket. And then we're going to insert the bracket into the opening channels here on top of the light. Take note of the C pattern. It faces the front of the light. It can be a little bit of a tight fit but it'll kind of pop into place a little bit there. Uh, this will allow you to drop the small uh, nut here into this opening channel. There's two opening channels on each side. It'll catch the nut and then you'll take your smaller bolt, make sure your holes are aligned here on the sides. Uh, you can just put it right in. You have to adjust your bracket. There we go. And then take the included uh, wrench here and just tighten all the way down and then we'll repeat for the other side. To mount our Spartan bar, simply slide this bolt through the bottom of our bracket, drop the lock washer over the top, and then take this nut and screw it down over the bolt. And then using a size 14 wrench, completely tighten the bolt against the bracket. Let's go ahead and connect our IP68 heavy duty uh, weatherproofed harness. Uh, as you can see, there's a male end here on the Spartan side, and then your full harness side is going to be a female end. And you'll also want to take note there's a notch here on the top that you're going to want to line up. So line those two together, push in all the way, and then take this collar ring here, and it'll slide up. Notice the uh, double seal. This collar ring is going to help compress those seals and make sure that this connection stays extremely tight. So there are two different ways to wire for power on these reverse lights. You can use the trailer harness connection, the ground and power from that, or you can use the uh, reverse light bulb here in the tail light housing. That's what we're going to show you today. So to remove this tail light housing, there are two uh, bolts here on the inside to lower the tailgate and they'll be exposed. And you can use a size eight socket to remove those. For sake of time in the video, we went ahead and removed those bolts. So after you do that, you'll be able to remove this tail light assembly by pulling directly back. All right, and it'll pop loose. And uh, on this XLT model, uh, basically all you've got here is the uh, single reverse light here at the bottom and your tail light here at the top. Uh, so what we're gonna use are these two wires here uh, from to, that go to the reverse lights. It doesn't matter which one really you use, just as long as 
Oh, you make one connection on one wire and one connection on the other wire. Color also doesn't matter here. All right, so what we're gonna use um, are these red quick connections. They're extremely easy to use. Uh, basically, you slide it over one wire and you'll run the harness in uh, the other side and clamp them together. And I'll show you that in just a second. So what we went ahead and did is uh, there's a big opening here in the bottom of this tail light compartment. Uh, it allows you to run the harness directly up through that. So we've started that process. Let's see if I can pull the rest of it through. There we go. So uh, here next to your inline fuse tap, you've got red and uh, black wire. The red is going to be for your power, uh, the black is your ground. So we're going to take our quick splice connectors and connect these two wires to these two wires here on the uh, reverse light unit. What you can do, you can uh, remove the bulb by turning it counterclockwise and pulling it out. It might make it a little bit easier for you. We'll go ahead and do that on this bulb as well. Set the tail light, tail light housing aside here. So we're going to connect these wires, take your uh, red quick connection, quick taps, slide it over the existing harness wire, and then slide the uh, ground wire into the other opening, the innermost opening here, it'll be a little bit tight. Make sure it goes all the way through until you can't push any further because you want to make sure, there you go, that when you close this tab, it's going to give you a good connection. So go ahead and take your clamps, push directly down like so. And now we'll do the same for our power side here. And close this quick tab. Now if you'd like you can uh, make solder connections but this is the easiest way, uh, re easiest and rel most reliable way for most people to do this. All right. So we're going to repeat for this power side like so. Take your red wire Run into this opening here and take our, our clamps and push down on this quick splice connector. Boom. Now we're fully connected for power. So what we can do, we can jump in the truck, uh, put your emergency brake on, uh, and you can put the lights in reverse. And if they light up, if they light up, uh, you know we're good to go and we can reinstall everything. We can take our zip ties, uh, make sure the harness gets cleaned up and isn't hanging or dragging or anything like that. So that's all there is to installing the Spartan Series Cree Reverse Lights here on a 2015 and up Ford F-150. Extremely easy. We highly recommend it. These things are extremely bright. The camera can't capture how bright these are, but they put off a lot of light. It's a great light pattern. It's going to make backing up at night extremely easy for you. Plus, it's going to make you and those around you safer because they're going to obviously see when your truck goes into reverse now. So we highly recommend them for any F-150 owner. You can check them out at f 150 LED. Com. Be sure to click the subscribe button to stay uh, up to date with the latest and greatest LED products for your F-150. We truly appreciate your support. Be sure to sign up for our rewards program. We look forward to serving you soon. Thanks guys.